but um, uh, of mine, it, it's been a bit of a journey um, over the last uh, few years. It started a couple of years ago up in, Kim in Kimberley Country, Northwest WA. This, and this song's called Spirit Bird, and, and uh, I have a new album coming out in a few weeks called Spirit Bird. Um, it's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you this story. Um, uh, I've had a, a journey that's been connected to the Kimberley and I've been involved with the um, Save the Kimberley campaign for about the last five years. And um, I, was, uh, I was up on, on, in that country at one, one point a few years ago and we were, um, we were coming down the track and uh, I, I, I came out, I, I, I had this feeling just to stop the truck and got out of the truck and turned around, it was all desert country and there was this uh, dead tree and in the tree was a big mob of red-tailed black cockatoos and um, this one bird, um, usually they, they, they take off red-tailed blacks but they were all there and this one bird, she, she looked through me so strong and I felt this um, like a time warp, like an, an intense rush that went through me. And as she looked through my eyes, she was um, explaining what was going on in the country and, and she just hit me with this thing. It's hard to explain in words. Anyway, later that day, I wrote, I started writing this song in the sand on, 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 a, on a beach near there. And the song just poured out of me and I wrote the start of it. And then I kind of left it for a while and a few years passed and then this year I was recording um, uh, my album and I was in Canada and I was sitting on a lake by a fire and um, I started to play the song again and um, as I played the whole back section of the song just poured through me and um, I ended up in tears and it was all very fast and very quick and wrote it down a lot of times, you know, it was hard to make sense of what was happening with the song. Anyway, the next morning I woke up, it was about 10 o'clock uh, Canadian time when that happened. And the next morning I woke up um, and I got all these messages and realised that um, at about midday Western Australian time, which was about 10 o'clock when I was by the fire and the rest of that song came out of me, it was about the um, same time as the police moved in on James Price Point and the bulldozers and they started to drag elders off country and it was a whole, and a whole other horrible scene that happened up there under the rule of Colin Barnett. And um, it was interesting, you know, because um, uh, I'll never forget that um, experience with that bird. And the next time I went up to the Kimberley, I went up with my boys and we went up through country there. And everywhere we went, uh, we were with Joan, a, a friend of mine, Jonesy, who's, who's uh, and we had Malcolm Douglas's truck. And Jonesy used to be a cameraman for Malcolm Douglas, and we'd done a lot of trips up there. And we had red tail blacks following us every morning and every night on that whole trip. And then at the end of the trip, one of them dropped up for me. Anyway, um, I'd like to share this song with you. This is this is one of the most um, uh, heavy songs that's ever come through me. I respect uh, this piece or this energy or whatever this thing is, this spirit that came through me with this song. This is a song called Spirit Bird. <laughs> 